We're on the last part of the game, Act 4. All right, let's go check out our apartment first. It's a, it's a nice night out, huh? Hey, baby. I played it once like seven years ago, and I can't remember anything about this game. So that's what, it, what we played now. Let's go talk to this bro, see if he has anything new for me. I just watched a documentary about beavers. It was the best damn show I've ever saw. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Of course. What is it you... What do you know about the sarcophagus? No more than yourself. But I do know that LaCroix is much too focused on acquiring it. His obvious need for it reveals a weakness that his enemies may one day exploit. What do you think's inside of it? I do not know. Although I must admit that I sense a change in the night air, something subtle and not altogether pleasant. Perhaps the arrival of the sarcophagus is the harbinger of something more dreadful. Yes, we'll be playing the Charm Come Human later today at 6 p.m. Like what? I will say no more. Well, you don't want to spoil the game? Fine. Let's go give that woman her uh, amulet as well. I mean, her book. Oh, it's locked. We have a book for the lady that eats flesh. Let's go give it to her. She'll probably give me something good for it. She's in the hospital. Crab nipple this and crab nipple that. Stop talking about your crab nipple. No one cares. Uh, this is the uh, this is the unofficial patch mod, which is all you need for this game, and it's the only mod that really works 100% well. It fixes tons and tons and tons and tons of bugs. We'll talk to these people real fast, actually. Just keeps getting more interesting, doesn't it, kiddo? The Giovanni, the Quay Jin, lots of blood being spilled for a 10,000 year old conversation piece, wouldn't you say? How'd you hear about that? The streets, the hillsides, there's eyes and ears everywhere. I see. LaCroix has a sarcophagus. I heard LaCroix has been talking to Beckett, too. Beckett's a skeptic about all this stuff. I just hope he knows to be careful dealing with that snake LaCroix. Why is he helping the prince? Well, Beckett's apolitical, you could say. He's just interested in the truth of our origins. Politics and all that and minor details, too. He and the prince want me to find Johansson, the archaeologist. You do what you have to do. Guess if I have to. What the hell did you want? Uh, get the hell out of here, bro. Sorry, Jesus. Seth. Some questions. Yeah. Nah, I, I think you did. did all this. He's guilty. I saw him myself. It's only matter of time before he's found out. I don't care what you saw. Nines is innocent. Nines wouldn't do something like that without a reason. He'd never start a war. This is, this is, it's bullshit. Take your ass back to your tower, Cammy, before you get hurt. I will. Fuck. Goddamn Cammies. You guys are all the same. Seth. <laughs> I'll be back. Uh, Seth. Fucking Cammies. I just want to kill him. Alright, let's go. We gotta go to the hospital. 
and pick up my money. Check out our apartment lady. Over here. With these artifacts, she's probably gonna like take over the world or something. I've unwittingly helped her. Yes. Here's that book you're looking for. The Voce del Morte. The Giovanni never willingly share their secrets, and I've had little success infiltrating their strongholds. How did you obtain this? They were a little distracted, so I was able to slip under the radar. It will take some time to translate and unlock the secrets of this. I will have to move on from the city to evade any Giovanni seeking it. Take this. This will complete the terms we agreed to, and I think it is adequate compensation. It is the key of Alamut. It instills dread in those that would harm you, and makes it harder for them to strike you. Make no mistake, our dealings do not make us allies. If indeed we meet again, do not ask me for any favors. I will give you this final advice, however. Leave this city. These are its final nights. Discord looms heavy. I've felt this before. Um, have, have you been, been eating spaghetti? Because you have a little something, right, um, a little around your, um, what do you mean? In November of 1938, I was translating documents in Leipzig, Germany, written by a purported Crusades-era necromancer. There also, I felt a sense of impending chaos. Soon after was the Kristallnacht, the wellspring of a new world war. Ooh. I see. I'll take that into consideration. Goodbye. D do you want to, like, a wet wipe or something? I mean, it, would, it might help you a little bit. Uh, gives its owner extraordinary resilience to damage. Increase all soak ratings by one. What's a soak rating? Oh, wait. Soak. Shrug off damage, lethal damage. Let's get out of here. Uh, aggravated soak sounds like. A really angry mom doing laundry. Ah, soak these goddamn clothes. Ah. Or you're really mad and you throw dishes in the sink to soak aggravatedly. Yeah, we're on the final missions of this game. We'll finish it today for sure. How's chat's uh, Thursday going, by the way? No, I beg your pardon. That's the hops, bro. I need a good sucky sucky. Oh, wait, I can go to our uh, our apartment bi uh, woman over there. Yeah, she can give me the sucky sucky. I need some juice. I wonder if Fat Albert's got anything, or sorry, Fat Larry's got anything cool. Oh, thank you. A little takeout dinner. I needed that badly. Ah. 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 That's some good stuff. My man. What is up? What is up, my fat Larry? An AUG A1 Remington M70. 
crossbow bolts. Colt. Okay, that was terrible. Fire rate high, damage 11. Is this gun any good? Oh, the hook though. Ooh, let's try the hook out. Sell that. Sell the shoddy. Sell that too. The Uzi's not bad. Is Yage one any good? Well, it requires a uh, Rage Cop at an eight, so the I don't have anywhere near that much. My ranged combat is at a five, but I can use the hook. My man, what's, what's up? David Duchovny Singh, signed, sealed, and certified. What? Hey, hey, don't walk on by. I look like D.I. Warwick. <laughs> yo, uh, yo, yo, I got that. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Koala what's ears, up? lazy eye hammocks, and dwarf saddles right here. Only. Hey, hey don't walk on by. I look like D.I. Warwick. Hey baby, what's up? Yo, yo, what's yo, up, girl? Koala ears, lazy eye hammocks, and dwarf saddles right here. Hey, hey, don't walk on by. I look like D.I. Warwick. What does he keep shouting hey, about? Yeah, shut up. Shut up. Hey, hey, don't walk on by. I look like D.I. Warwick. Hey, hey, don't walk on by. I look like Hey, hey, hey don't walk on by. Oh, man, got a Galapagos turtle this week on. Hey, 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 don't walk on by. Check it out, check it out. Step right up. Jeez, could you shut up? <laughs> what are you doing? God. Hey, hey, hey. He should have been more, a little more like. Hey, hey, hey. Where's my money? Where's my money? Money, right? Where's my money? Your Give me my money. Here, that should provide for an interesting. Give evening. me my money. Thank you. Keep it coming. Seven hundred fifty bucks, not bad. Combat defense feat. You have a dodge of at least four, melee of four, melee of four, computer of four. Let's get that computer skill and then use the book for computers. Boom! Yeah! Maxed out computer. Get hacked, baby. Mm -hmm. Boost your charisma. Beautiful. I have all these trinkets in my backpack. This is silly. I have so many. I got like a, a bunch of fetishes and knickknacks and blood chalices and all kinds of stuff. I'm like a voodoo priest. I got all this stuff strapped around my waist. Let's go next door. 
immersion, please. Come on. What is that? How does that even happen? It's like trash can just like I'm gonna stay here in the air because I can. What are you talking about, like my pretzel? I'm me. All right, let's put the ledger in there. Other ledger. Pass key. I don't think I'll ever use that dodge book, like, ever. I'll never have that much dodge. Clipboard. So many artifacts. Got the webcam. Okay. Oh, hey, baby. Master? I need your blood. Come here, darling. I need to top off my blood. Ah, right in the booby. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I want to check out Redemption sometime. Seems like it'd be fun. Although it does look it does look very old when I looked, checked it out. I was like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll be playing Detroit later tonight. It's gonna be great. Ten on red. Oh my god. Oh, Tommy Platon's review. I've read rec I've recently read Tommy Platon's review of the Cavalry Cafe in the Sun, and I must tell you that I'm extremely happy with it. his conclusions. You have done well. Please accept this payment I left you in your mailbox. We will no doubt be seeing each other soon. S L. Mitnick here. I've got the information on the first of the network hubs. Terminals in Santa Monica and an old place called Megahertz Computing. Also note email with the recon. Power up the terminal on the net security folder and run the Shritnik command. The password on the folder is Gil Bates. <laughs> Don't ask. I'll message you when you see the next hub see the next hub activated. In the section of Santa Monica, next to the asylum, the only interest is through the back door, so you have to find an alleyway to get back there. Giving you a key for the door, it's in your mailbox, good luck. Hello, young young one, a fellow Gringle named Scott, who was doing some research for me in the LA Public Library of our infamous coffin, knows a La Sombra there. As I'm preoccupied right, right now, please meet uh, him in my set at the smoke shop in Santa Monica to learn about the details. After all, Sabat always means trouble, and we wouldn't want anything bad happening to all the precious knowledge, now would we, Beckett? If you're reading this, I guess you're prop still among the undead. I've got a proposition for you. If you're not too busy, you know where to find me. Won't be too difficult this time. Bertram. Sweet Kindred. Thank you for all you did for me. I want to, to know that you... I want you to know that I meant it when I said I adored you. You made me feel that the world is not nearly so dark and desperate. Hope you see you again in my club all and in my dreams. All my love, Vivi. Are you lonely, boss? Then maybe sending uh, me a weird, fleshy, trimsky ball will stop you from being wallowing in your self-pity. Bet you got one when you flushed out these creatures out. Just put it in your mailbox and I will pick up the pick up a poster in your uh, heaven, haven as a reward. Maya in her full beauty before I gave her my special treatment. Ain't the only stuff that uh, got a uh, cheap Rolex. Ain't the only stuff that we got, man. We got much hotter and much deadlier stuff, you know? And like all the other quality LA proprietors, we, we uh, got new stock. Check it all the time, so check it out. Larry. Uh, the Muse's Muse. Right. 
Um, the game was left in unfinished state. And the unofficial patch people, which are some of them are the devs of the original game, uh, finished up some quests and put them in the, un the plus version of the un unofficial patch. Uh, you can go ahead and tweet, uh, Julia, it's fine. Just wait for Twitch to frickin' update. Twitch is taking longer than normal to let me update the damn emotes. Ooh, 100 bucks. Megahertz access, thank you. Let's go ahead and put the fleshy ball in there. So put it in the, your mailbox. Where do you get the unofficial patch, Dan? You Google Vampire Masquerade unofficial patch on this new website called Google. that going I know it's it's crazy completely new stuff yeah if you're still on Avast or Lycos uh, you might want to upgrade to Google I know well, it's not just chat it's just real life people don't like to think anymore Need a ride. Boop, 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 boop. Granted, thinking is hard. You have to like try and do stuff. It's a nice night out, huh? Okay, smoke shop. I wonder if this is voiced or not. We'll find out. It's probably voiced, but they never finished the quest. Good evening to you. Oh, I'm looking for Sky. He might have left me a note or something. I'm sorry. I, I can't help you. And look around for a clue then. Because they probably never did the voiceover for it. Hey, Beck. I couldn't wait for you as the suspect as the suspect left early. Check on my laptop in the coffee shop on the, on the move for where we're going. Left the main door unlocked and the password is our clan, Scott. an awfully long time for Twitch chat to recognize that the emotes are gone and it needs to let me upload new ones. Mega Hertz, back alley. Blood bank. Mega Hertz, there it is. Uh, we need it. There's a Vent there. Let's look around first, though. Uh, nothing good here. All right, blood buff.
wait. Oh, the power's on. What does that do for me? Um. Oh, I saw Dan Champ's gone. Oh wait, no, Dan Champ was gone a long time ago. Still will let me upload. The old emotes still haven't disappeared. So I can't upload new ones until the old ones go away. What do you want me to do it here? Mm-hmm. It's a proposition for you. Downtown, Hollywood. Let's find megahertz computing instead out of the way. I have the terminal. Terminal. I gotta find this terminal. Oh, there it is. Net security. Tap, 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 tap. Uh, sh Shrek Net. Nice going, kid. I'll email you with instructions for the next hub. Thanks, brah. Again, so we'll be able to Foxy boxes. I want to see what's in there. It said coffee shop, right? I need to go to Hollywood to do something there. The abandoned coffee shop nearby. Abandoned coffee shop. Oh, that was over here. I remember the coffee shop. Right over here. I think it was next to the clinic. Pretty coffee shop. Kind of weird of a coffee shop to have these kind of chairs, though. That's weird. Is it there? Stan skipping Dark Souls Remastered? No. Why would you think that? Just a bunch of other games coming out at the same time. And we'll put it off for games that we haven't played already. Uh, first. Beckett asked me to research an ancient sarcophagus in the LA Public Library during one of my nightly sessions. There's another vampire sneaking around who looks like a lasso lassombra to me. Luckily, I recently learned to obfuscate and so could avoid being spotted. Curious about what he was doing here in LA or whether it was about our coffin. I'll shadow him next few days. First in the first the La Sombra uh, went into this old house downtown showing a red symbol. Followed him in after a while, but only found a black guy who's asking if I had been enlightened. I left and some time later the new agent of the prince entered the building. Soon after, the black guy ran out in panic and climbed down 
uh, into the sewers where I lost them. Third. In Santa Monica, I watched how the La Sombra entered through the old junkyard, probably to talk with the caitliff living there. Before I could do something about it, the new agent of the prince arrived and suddenly the La Sombra teleported behind me. I hope it wasn't, I wasn't spotted. Then he took a cab back to the L.A. library. Fourth. I suspect the La Sombra tries to recruit vampires and ghouls to complement the usual Sabat cannon fodder. I'm pretty sure he failed turning the caitliff. I don't know about the black guy. This doesn't affect the sarcophagus thing, but I still don't have. I still got a bad feeling with him. Always returning to the library, as I'm not a fighter myself. I will contact and ask Beckett about it. Fifth, I fixed the meeting with Beckett in the Santa Monica smoke shop, as I shadowed the black guy there, and he seems to be a regular customer. I overheard that he wants to meet someone at the end of the Santa Monica Pier. This should be the. This should be the La Sombra. I hope he hope start from the smoke shop so Beck and I can easily trail him to the guy. Ah! <laughs> Who the hell is that? Why are you here? Came out of nowhere. All right, let's go to the end of the pier and see if uh, he's. Honey, do you need like a jacket? Cause. Hey, baby, you need company. Is that toddler shirt even legal? Like, can you wear that with half your breast hanging out? It's only acceptable like in the bedroom and at the Grammys. That's it. Or the arrow section, yes, of course. It did not balance. It didn't end there. We'll probably go back to the mansion, but we go to a bunch of places again. The final missions of the game. Into the pier. Nice. The La Sombra is probably probably safe first. Becca, I think the Sombra is aware of me. This may have been a trap. In case I don't make it, check out the downtown sewers. Or seek emergency half into the library basement. I left it open for you, Scott. I see blood everywhere. Why would you leave that there? So that he could, that whoever walks up on that could find that and see where you are, even if you don't want them to know that. What if, like, the bad guy reads that? Yeah, if it's so secret, why write a note about it that anyone can read? This is one of my favorite games. Try to play the hardest and baddest vampires, though. Having to avoid all the people. Well, like the Nosferatu. Where you can't be seen by people because they... You look like a monster.
Lucky and Oxrod do have invisibility, which helps. Yeah, Malkavians are fun to play as they get some special craziness on all the dialogue. And they can like talk to the TV people and stuff. Hop in. Sure, why not? I don't know why he has like so many options. Let's go downtown. Tremere get their own unique ending? Really? That's cool. Uh, I think we need to go this way. Let's go back to our apartment. We should have like several emails. Yeah, the Malkavians are crazy because they have all the answers and none of the questions. They can see the future, and they get connected to the Madness Network where they can talk to each other. They're all linked. <laughs> Malkavians are the what, like one of the most powerful races, but unfortunately they're so crazy it's hard for them to channel their, their sanity long enough to take advantage of it. Yeah, they can. They have the power of. What's it called? I won't say dementia, but it's not dementia. It's where they, they can look at you and make you go insane. Dementation, yes. They can look at you, and if they are powerful in dementation, they can make you go insane permanently. Not you. Emails. Email. Next terminal is in the basement of the Nocturnal Theater in downtown. Reckon, uh, no one can know you're there. Stay out of sight and no killing. I need you to set up a wireless cam. I'll send you instructions on how to activate it. Once it's in place and activated, log into the network. Okay. Uh, wireless camera. I put the camera down in your mailbox. It had an operative scoop out the joint beforehand, and he marked the best place for the camera with a red X. Find it. It's preferably somewhere high, and mount the camera. Once you're put in in place, log into the terminal downstairs. Find the camera full and activate the net cam. You won't be able to activate it. Activate the hub until the camera is in place. Prince is promoting you. Hey boss, did some spring cleaning today. Came across something that might tickle you. Kid used to live here and, ha and had an unhealthy crush on everyone's favorite psycho, pinup Jeanette uh, Vornum. I got a touch up, touch of the nostalgia, so you'll find a copy of Tap Hotel starring me. I'll trade you a poster of that malicious lunatic for it. Put the videotape in your mailbox, and I'll deliver it, uh, it to your haven. Ooh, nice. Oh baby. Amalia looked good back in the day. Damn. This is before she turned off her auto and looks like 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 a piece of string cheese that got mashed and then left out too long. Damn, girl. Uh, let's take the tape. Oh, it's still in my inventory. Okay, we're fine. Going down. Do you ever press the up button when you meant to press the down button on the elevator and you walk in and then you're like, there's people on there, so you're embarrassed. You're like, yeah, I want this floor up here. I want to go higher, sure. Yeah, that's what I want. And you, then, and you get off on a random floor and you, then you walk away, like, waiting for the door to close. And you're like, oh, God. Close, 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 close. Okay, down. Here we go. 
Or the opposite, where you're on an elevator, and you're on your phone, and the door opens, you just walk out, and you're not on the right floor. And then you have to walk away from the elevator, wait for it to close, because you're embarrassed. You've never done that? Oh, yeah, like you've never done that. No, everyone's done that at least once. You accidentally get off the elevator too early because you're not paying attention. I always take the scare the stairs. Well, aren't you just healthy? So healthy. But you're thin too. You healthy, thin person. Oh, I forgot to put the tape in there. Let's give him the PP tape. <coughs> Ew. Let's give him Trump's PP -pee tape. There you go. I know, a VHS. When's the last, I can't remember the last time I've watched a VHS. It's been so long. It's been like ages. What's you owe patch mean? Unofficial patch. Unofficial's a word that's way too long. Let's go to the Society of Leopold. I'll do this mission now. That's right. Oh, hi. Who's there? What are my instructions? Who's being held? Need to find a way inside and locate him. Dying. <laughs> Ma'am, you're dead tired. Saving. Getting a little low on blood, but about to get some refills here. Whoop! God damn it! Where'd that guy come from? Who's there? Who's there? 
No, I want to kill you. Oh my god, their damage is crazy. I'm trying to get up to behind him and... But that's not happening very easily. I guess we can go in the front door. Let's go grab her torch. I think it's a weapon I don't have. We'll just go inside. Oh my god, son of a what the fudge dump Jesus Christ. Well, let's try to find a back door. Whew. Why did you so? I'm trying to like this is so hard. I don't have a lot of blood to fool around with. I gotta try to suck someone. No, 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 why did... Fine. That's it. That's it. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Come on. Suck. 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 Every drop. I love how they only hired bald people for this this job. Yeah, trying to stealth this is hard. Come on. Give it to me. Every drop. Every drop. No, we're only having trouble with the stealth part. Die. The killing them is not bad at all. You want to die, sir. 
Life's too hard. Just give up. Give up. Good gun. Hopefully there's more out here somewhere. <laughs> gotcha. Let's put a another point in the dodge. I think that would help a little bit. Dun, 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 dun. I can't fly. I'm not a, I can't turn into a bat. <laughs> Turning into a bat would be awesome, but I can't do that. Unfortunately. Let's go in the back door. Lord, I pray now that you give me strength in battle, that I might overcome the hordes of Satan and his children that I might wield the flaming sword of the Archangel and defend myself with your shield of Jesus, and that my victories are many and my wounds few, that I might further your kingdom here on earth. And if I meet death to power, then let it be first that I cast a mighty host of demons back into the lake of fire whence they came, and then rest fine. His name is Sock. Heat Sig. Tap, 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 tap. You... Human. Try to set to human. Okay. Saving. Gotcha. Gotcha. Each signature. Tap, 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 tap. Get some suck. Human. Why would you have a human setting on your on your shit like that? <laughs> I guess we're human enemies, but you're human, so you could kill yourself on accident. You're not careful. 
Well, there's no way to like get there stealthily, so we're gonna have to go in guns a-blazing. Brother Grunfeld seems particularly uneasy this evening. Yes, LaCroix has begun to move more openly, and Brother Grunfeld grows impatient. Ah, yes, LaCroix. As always, Brother Grunfeld focuses only on his old nemesis. Let us hope his fanaticism best serves the interests of our order. That's the Skyrim and not guard. His own unresolved grievances. Shh. Are you mad? Brother Grunfeld will not tolerate such insubordination. Hold your tongue. You know upon whose direct authority he acts? Yes, I know. Far be it from me to question the edict of the Holy See. You would do best to remember your place. Brother Grunfeld is a faithful warrior. He has battled Satan's spawn for longer than you've been alive. Then I pray the Lord grant me the same years to fight in his army. Amen. That is totally the voice actor from Skyrim. One of them, at least. Journal. Journals list inscribe the initials GB. We tracked the Coy to Los Angeles. He has made his lair in the penthouse of the Venture Tower. Hiding beside some legitimate business front while commanding the Legion of Demons covered by, of night. I pray the Lord for the strength of the coming days, but there is a shadow that hangs over my heart like the wings of Lucifer himself. It's not LaCroix I fear, nor his underlings, but there is fear in my heart nonetheless, an ancient evil is stirring. May God grant me strength to overcome it. Woke up this morning, and the sun on my face was little comfort. We lost three of the brethren last night in a fierce battle with some hell spawn. Means of the vampire known as the Alistar Grout. We have been unable to find his lair, but it's only a matter of time. May God have mercy on the souls of our brethren. The mystery surrounding the Ancarian sarcophagus, the massacre of Elizabeth Dane, has my superiors troubled. I have been told to expect a package in the mail that may be helpful in shedding some light on the artifact. It arrival seems convenient, in light of LaCroix's recent arrival. Something is amiss. Yet I cannot see what machinations are at play. I will wait and have faith that the Lord will see us through. We finally found the lair of Alistair Grout, but it seems we were a little too late. The demon had already been sent to hell before I was able to dispatch him. I ran across a younger vampire who uh, seemed unaware of, of Grout's demise. No doubt one of his sucklings came to visit its master. I took care of that demon and destroyed that house. I thank God for his eternal watchfulness over me and my brotherhood. There seems a great unrest among the vampire brood in the city. Perhaps the rival LaCroix was unwelcome to the rest of the damned. I know not, nor do I care. They all will burn, whether by my hand or the father's. The Arcan Arcanian sarcophagus was stolen today by a museum of natural history. Reports were obtained that leads me to believe the demon spawn were behind it. The books uh, I received yesterday at the Vatican only reinforces that theory. I know these may very well be the end times. The time of the final struggle will be well upon us. I dreamed of LaCroix last night, of his hideous visage burned to ash in a great inferno. May it be that this vision given to me by God, and that I will be the vessel of his holy vengeance? The years have been long, too long. Perhaps the soul of my father will finally rest in peace. Brother uh, Kriegler reported a disturbance in the force. I mean, disturbance at the vampire coven we observing at the mansion in Hollywood. It seems there's a party that something interrupted their fleshy rituals. He could say no more of the matter, but I smell LaCroix's meddling hand in all this. All the better may the demons feed on themselves until the world is rid of their evil. I had, had dreams of fires in Griffith Park last evening. I don't know, know their origin, but I feel the worst. I received a letter from His Holiness warning me that he is fearful that the apocalypse is upon us and that my mission has become more important than ever. I hold his words close to my heart and fight for his righteousness until I am no longer able. I took Lindsay Lohan, I took Joe Hansen from his hotel room last evening and brought him back here to the monastery. I'm convinced that LaCroix will try to find him, as he is the only one with knowledge of how the artifact can be opened. The brethren have been warned to expect an assault in the monastery, and we are ready to die for his glory, as am I. May the Holy Father bless us in these last dark days, and may the children of Satan burn forever in the hellfires of damnation. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Whoops. <laughs> Give me that juice. Give me that juice box. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted. Anyone else? Oh, dear God. New subscriber. That is a lot of them. You can't hide from me. Woohoo! Okay, get out of there. Oh god. That was close. That was damn close. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this gun, I don't have the skills for this gun, so it's rough. <laughs> yeah, guns are pretty effective against human enemies. Well. Yeah, you could. It's not like vampires can't use guns. I mean, they're very effective at what they do. Now we just gotta, you know, just chill for a second. Just chill for a minute. Just relax. Possession. You're safe for possession. Okay, saving. The one down. <laughs> so close. You can't hide from me. I need I, I need to suck, but combat suck isn't something that's very effective if there's more than one enemy. Well, we might have enough. For a blood heal. Okay.
Saving. I love that. Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> I think there's just one more. All right. Stop right there. Ah, no sucky sucky for a go long time. Aww. Hoping to get some sucky sucky. Aww. Well, that person isn't here. Hmm. Uh, Leopold interior key. Uh, what the hell is that? A uh, vampire ap apocrypha from Julius of Gaul. Ten. Mm -hmm. ba -ba -ba. Artifact as being a fairy is a dreadful thing. Fear of ancient diable evil. He abused. Artifact. Probably died. I guess it's not very long. We read this whole thing. Uh, the origin of, of this dark, mysterious talisman is largely unknown. It's mostly considered a myth, if not for the etchings of Julius of Gaul, who first discovered and subsequently re entombed the artifact. There would be almost no historical records of the artifact, save for various unfound legends of evilness scattered throughout the writings of Brotherhood. Historians and theology, theologians alike have been unable to assert, ascertain the exact age or place of origin, although the symbols and inscriptions seem to hint that the artifact is from the area of ancient Sumner or Mesopotamia. It has never been opened, and therefore any myths pertaining to who or what might be a case inside are total speculation. Vampiric origins have not been ruled out, although many scholars within the church seem to think that it may hold remains of an ancient king, whose name so far has been lost to the ages. Let it be said that though the writings of the Julius Gaul describe the earthquake being the fairest and dread evil thing, full of some ancient undeniable evil, he attributes the death of a scribe to the artifact, who, upon setting his eyes upon it for the first time, began convulsing uncontrollably and promptly died. Okay, then. I heard someone yawn. That means there might be someone still with you. Okay. Heat. Sig. Tap, 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 tap. Why would you only have a three letter password? Human. Who's screaming? Okay, saving. Cannot save while using. New subscriber. Well, Julie, then uh, Lindsay Lohan will never be able to save. Uh, Epic Nerd, thank you for the sub, Epic Nerd. Thank you. Come on, thank you. Uh, 
Ah. Thank you for the dinner. Needed some dinner. <laughs> the frame rate is like 1 million for this game. That's pretty high, it's just so old. It's easy to run a game that's this old. If it's optimized well with pat patch, unofficial patches and stuff. There's gotta be like a secret passage right here or something. There's gotta be somewhere to open. Which or something to open it uh no fresh fresh those are buggy buggy messes I wouldn't recommend those Brute force works. Yeah, secret passage. Get. God, the physics on this robe are horrible. They're so bad. I keep bugging out all the time. God, even more. Jesus. I don't know how they expect you to do this without, like, if you're not combat spec. Like, are you supposed to talk to vampire hunters? Yeah, we cool, bro. Come here. Give me that juice. Give me that juice. <laughs> We're nearly full again, boys. Our blood tank is on near near full. That is beautiful. Yeah, a little man juice. It's fine. I thought that was a crib for a second. Like, what? Saving. Let's see. Come in. Mesmerizing trance or starts to dance for about 15 seconds. He disappeared. Effect was off about 5 seconds. Can you mind wipe suck? Generator one, generator two. Stop. OK, 
Come here, baby. Yeah. Life's not worth living. <laughs> yeah, we're on the unofficial patch with all the options on. Oh, hi there. Hold on, let me clear everyone first before I open your little thing. Yeah, I, I, I was like, look, I probably shouldn't swing this and hit the rockets. That's probably a bad idea. Hi there. No more, no more, no more f fire. No fire. Uh, Ash? You. It ruined my face. The fire. I can still feel it in my wounds. They'll kill me. They'll come back with their brands and it will burn. Keep your voice down. I wouldn't talk so they burnt me. Again, and again, and again, their eyes, they, they enjoyed it. Before they come back, I'm begging you, let me out. I'll look for a way out, Ash. They always come back, and it always burns. Don't go anywhere, I'll be back. You found Ash captured and tortured. Why don't you help him out once more? What's well, blood buff? Pick your lock. Well shit. I can't Well, I think I can take off my armor. Crap, what email did I delete on accident? Not dirt P one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine emotes. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. I gotta figure out which one I'm missing. Faded P, Derp, Fat, Rage is coming, Re, Re, Missing Re. will be in a couple of minutes. Okay, got it. All right. I think if we take off our arbor, then blood buff, then we should be able to pick it. Thanks. You'll never see me again. I'm gonna go somewhere no one will ever see this face again. Good luck in Canada. The jokes in this game are so well, well written and so good. He's in a rush to get the hell out of there. 
It is pretty cold in Canada, it's true. Alright, save. I gotta suck someone, we're getting kinda low. Okay, s saving. Looks like there's two, I could suck both. There's three, four, five, there's actually quite a few. Are the stories true about him, I mean? Brother Greenfield? Yes. What stories have you heard, young brother? There are many. Some say he saw his own mother eaten alive by a couple of witches, and others that he once killed an elder vampire with his bare hands. There are even whispers that he is the resurrected Saint Leo, come to lead his armies into the final battle against the ominous Marcus. <laughs> Who has all stories you hear are true? That our Grunfeld is a good soldier just as we become if you have faith in God and the discipline to stand in his path. It is also said that he once killed a man of the Brotherhood because he refused to follow orders. Hmm. Some stories you hear are true, young brother. I love how that guy is dead in the middle right there. No one cares. At all. Just dead. No one gives a shit. That guy fell asleep. No one cares at all. Oh, hey, hey! What the fuck was that? Oh, God! Jumping, Jesus! Uh, uh, hello, hello. Nope. The goddamn thing exploded. Well, if that killed me. That means it probably could kill that, too. Oh shit, not bad. Dealt a lot more damage to me though than compared to them. What is that horrible sound? Can't fucking do anything. Dance, baby, dance. Come on, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's good. That's the good shit right there. Make sure all the stuff's blown up so it doesn't hurt me later. Yeah, I'm just sucking my way through the game. Just like I did to get promotions back in the day. Come here! Wow, 
Whoops. Hello. Healing. Healing. Actually, let's say they're asleep, it's an instant kill. Hmm, interesting. Okay, saving. Why is the crosshair tilted? Because this game is... It tries to be an action game in the last third of the, the act, but... This comes out crosses. Eh. Eh. Yeah, last of this game gets really like... Hmm. Kind of like they were rushed and had to like throw in some action sections. Goddamn cloak! You missed. I knew your Hansen would do as a servant of safety, but I set this head for the Archfiend himself! Where is LaCroix? LaCroix? You think LaCroix would come here alone? Perhaps when LaCroix runs out of minions, he will show me his face, and God will guide my shots through it! Before I send you to eternal damnation, any last words? Uh, know your place, mortal, and come bow in front of me. You should have begged for God's mercy. I will show you not. You'll be begging for me to kill you after rip out your guts. Come on. Okay, uh-oh. Okay, let's save right here. Fortitude. I love the vampire shooting rage. And the vavoof. Oh my god. Wait, that shouldn't have any effect on me. Oh my god. This is really annoying. What the hell is that? Keeps casting a shield spell. So we shout shield.
God, I hate having to scroll through all these things to get to the one I want. God, I hate that. Like, I have to go through so many freaking disciplines just to get the one I want. Oh, God, this is so annoying. Uh... Oh, blood heal. Fortitude. Blood buff. Oh, thank God. Blood heal, blood heal, blood buff, fortitude. The hell was that? Oh my god, please. I'm gonna have to just shoot him the whole time. Yeah, he has some sort of shield shit, because that's necessary. When he constantly runs away. That's where you have to hit him. This, this gun only has six shots, that's why I have to reload. Boom, 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 boom. I have to wait for his shield to wear off. This is such a dumb fight. Are we waiting? Yeah, like this, you can't melee this guy. Like, you get close, he just teleports away. Just super annoying. Oh, come on. So close. So close. Oh, so annoying. God. Oh. He's got his damn sniper rifle. I should turn him into a vampire so that way he becomes what he hates most. But then he might become Blade, and that'd be bad. Did they ever explain how he has him some sort of magical flash to the cross and then he teleports away? Like, how the hell does that work?
I told you everything. There's no reason for you to keep me here. Are you Let in a me go. Bathrobe? Tell me about the Arcan sarcophagus. The sarcophagus? You went through all that trouble for the sarcophagus? Yeah, I'll tell you. But don't you think it would be better to get out of here before those men come back? I dealt with them. They won't give us any problems. I guess if you can get all the way here, you deserve the answers. But can I make one request first? After I answer your questions, you will help me escape. Yeah, sure. All right. Where should I begin? What can you tell me about the sarcophagus? Let's start with the history of the Ankaran sarcophagus. That is a long and interesting legend, lost and found throughout the ages. Tell me, are you familiar with the Assyrians? Uh, no. Well, the Assyrians lived in Mesopotamia, a region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Most of this territory is now modern-day Iraq, Iran, Turkey, and Syria. Lovely area. Go on. They were warmongers, conquerors, a people driven to expand by their kings. Even before the Romans, they migrated their conquered people to the territories to stem revolt. But uh, I'm afraid I'm getting off the subject. Go on. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, the yeah. markings on the sarcophagus yeah. seem to hint that it is from some time between 1050 and 800 BC, which was a period of fierce expansion by the Assyrians. Oddly, for those years, only one king shows up on the historical record. While most likely he wiped all evidence of his predecessor's existence or passed the name to his heirs, one monarch, Mesarach, the one-eyed king is given credit for the territory and achievements of this time. But he would have had to have been over 250 years old, like a Dracula or something. What does it do with the sarcophagus? I find it hard to believe a sarcophagus with a person as important as Maserach could remain in, oh, what is the word, pristine or intact condition for so many years. But this is who is believed to be contained within. Are you sure? Men educated guess. Maybe you have not heard. It was stolen from the museum before we had a chance to open it. Usually, we use equipment to carbon date, x-ray, and take air samples before we pry open the lid. You compared him to a vampire. Any reason? You know, it is interesting that you ask me that. The goddess on the outside of the sarcophagus was Lamastu. In Assyrian myth, Lamastu was an evil demoness who preyed on humans. Many people cite her as the mother of vampire myth, and... And? The engravings on and found around the sarcophagus portray a regal figure drinking the blood of his enemies. Now, this image is found in many cultures, specifically among those of royal lineage. But there is a quite scientific explanation. Which is? A disorder known as porphyria. In short, it is caused by a deficiency of the iron in the blood, and in many cultures, for the nobility that could conceivably get away with the cure, the treatment was to drink human blood. <gasps> so, Messiarch drank human blood? Perhaps. Drinking the blood of your enemies is, if nothing else, symbolic. It can inspire fear in your foes and dissidents. Don't misunderstand me. I in no way believe it was a vampire. Vampires. That's what caused this whole mess. These maniacs believe they exist. How'd you find their sarcophagus? Uh, that is, you see, in archaeology, one can spend years looking for a dig site, following local rumors, studying old maps. It's a complicated process, very boring. Sir, I'm going to need you to just pick an accent and stick with it, please. Thank you. Finding and organizing a dig is the least interesting part of an archaeologist's job. 
Trust me, you don't want to hear about it. Do you really believe Messiarch is inside the sarcophagus? That I can't be sure of, nor can anyone. But I promise you, it is more likely to be filled with uh, gummy bears than vampires. <gasps> Perhaps maybe a mummy, but not likely the kind to go about chasing Abbot and Costello. Gummy bears? Well, now I want to open this damn thing. What else do you know about vampires? Not much, really. I'm an archaeologist, not a mythologist. But I do know that Lamastu, the Assyrian demoness, was thought to have been the inspiration for Lilith, the first wife of Adam in the Jewish Old Testament, another source of the vampire myth. So how does the sarcophagus open? Ah, quite interesting. There is a surprisingly complex mechanical lock on the face of the sarcophagus. By sheer luck, we were able to find the key not far from the sarcophagus. Why no one ever found it and robbed it? It's perplexing. A key, of course. Do you have it? How strange, you would ask. I haven't seen the key since it was loaded onto the Elizabeth Dane in Turkey. It was stolen before the sarcophagus even. I am still hopeful that the police find both pieces before the contents can be disturbed. Do you have a copy of the key? No, it's not the kind of key you can copy at the hardware store. It's actually very sophisticated, and I meant to study it at the museum. I've answered all your questions. Do you think now you could please get me out of here? I don't care who you are or why you've had so many questions about the sarcophagus. I just want to leave this place. All right, I'll free you. There's a boat nearby. We can escape on it. Thank you, my friend. I don't know where you came from, but I will never forget this kindness. No problem. <laughs> But I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that sick ass bathrobe, though. Just saying. You're gonna have to give that sick shit to me at some point. Uh oh. Uh oh. Run! Run! Oh shit! Run! Oh god, uh oh. This crazy son of a bitch. Okay, saving again. Oh, we have more than enough time to get over there. Okay, come on! Hurry! Get on the boot! Before our frenzy and start eating your flesh! You... Yeah, there's a gate, so we're not gonna get very far on this boat, but eh. Well, now we have near max humanity. What the hell is that? Okay, I need to, we need to go home and get, we need to get some juice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm eating the inside of your neck. Ah. Got some good suck. Got some good suck. Some more good suck. We're just making out, okay? Don't judge me. I make out with men in the middle of the street, it's fine. Let's go uh, finish topping off at our lovely place. Need to get into the basement of this place somehow. I see. By the sewer. It might be a different place. Downtown Network Hub, internet through the sewers. Gotta find a sewer entrance. Yeah, we, we always got, in every RPG ever, every one of them, you end up going in the damn sewer. Every one of them. Find us. Where the hell is the sewer entrance? Ah, oh, I can't get around there. Yeah, you always go to the sewer or some version of the sewer. Every one of them. into the Nocturne Club. Theater, I mean. Red X. All right, where are we? Thankfully, our sewer system has a map in it, because, yeah, sure. we have a sewer system number three that is okay so need to go back to the end of the hall make a right left and left what is the first RPG to ever do the sewer quest, kill rats in the sewer. What's the first one?
Who's there? No one. Ah. I, I'm glad he believed me when I said no one. That would have been bad if it, he didn't. Oh, there it is. Who's there? No one? Okay, just making sure. That old ass webcam. Oh, that, what a lovely theater. Find the terminal. That. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. Camera. Net cam. Net security. Tap, 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 tap. Break a leg. Got it. Shrek net. Your regular James Bond. Check your email soon. I'll be in touch. Got him. out of here. This game is sick. Does it need medicine? That time... Playing as venture. We're good at domination. That's why you can call me Mistress Stan. I'm your dumb. Ventrue, sir. They keep flipping the U or the R. I need to suck someone badly. God, I need to suck so bad. God, I'm craving some suck. Ooh, I need it. Yeah, our Detroit become human emotes or themed emotes are alive. I need some blood. Oh, here we go. Our usual guy. Mm. Whoopsie, dead. Whoopsie. He didn't regenerate health like everyone else. Whoops. My bad. Sorry about that. It happens. I know I sucked him just a little too hard. 
see if that woman's over here. She gives a lot of blood. back in the alleyway oh look is that Taylor Swift in the alleyway over there oh fine Turn around, sir. I need to suck her. Fine. We'll go back to the tower. We should go back to Santa Fe and pick up some blood at the blood bank, too, a little bit. If there's any left. I don't know if they respawn or not. Uh, as a Ventru, I can't suck hookers without a penalty. Uh, if, if you suck a hooker or a bum, you have a very high chance of puking up the blood and that making it have cost nothing. You're just like, hmm, that's the lit. Chunk, though. Chunk better be okay. Chunk is Dan Chat. We want, we, we love Chunk. Uh -huh. Chunk is probably on lunch break. He's got to be on lunch break. Everyone, everything looks fine up here. <laughs> With whom do they think they're dealing? Attack me in my own building! They're desperate. <laughs> They've shown their weakness. A last-ditch attempt to steal the prize. Who did this? The Sabat. A pack of shovelheads with cheap pistols was all they could muster. Two got a few stories up, but I took care of them. And my sheriff brought the rest their final death in the lobby. Sabat animals. The Sabat attacked? Why? Why else? The motive of every kindred in the entire city these last few nights. The Ankaran sarcophagus. They've been misled into thinking the sarcophagus holds a sleeping ancient. Their most coveted feasts. Diablerists. They drink the blood of other vampires? The Sabbat's infamy is in no small part due to their practice of diablery. That is, drinking the blood of other kindred. Especially older ones. Until they are dead. Diablerists gain the power of those they've fed upon. And the Camarilla, this is an act punishable by death. For the moment, we've manipulated the press into reporting tonight's events as a terrorist attack. Their soldiers may be no danger to me, but their threat to the masquerade is abundant. As my best agent, I'm sure you can guess my course of action. I understand. Hey, you lazy sheriff, go wipe out the Sabbat. He has to remain here in case of further attack, and also to guard the sarcophagus. For this emergency, I need someone with your nerve to guarantee success. The Sabbat have been a threat to both of us for far too long. I'll risk my life for no less than a large heap of cash. A mercenary attitude won't get you far in this organization. But 
if that's what it takes in this situation, agreed. Where are they? The Sabbat have made their haven at the Hallibrook Hotel. Right under our noses, here in downtown. Kill their leader. The rest will scamper out of the city. This is the last time they ever set foot in Los Angeles. Before you go, Beckett told me you went to the Society of Leopold. Did you find out how my sarcophagus is opened? Before I tell you anything, I want what's coming to me. Take your money. Tell me, what have you learned? The missing crate from the Dane is the key. That... It's the key to the sarcophagus. A key? Where? Do you have it? No, it's all I know, but I have other good news. Bach is dead. <laughs> Not only did you infiltrate the Society of Leopold, but you managed to kill their greatest hunter. You certainly are developing a legend for yourself. Superb. A toast to you. And to Thank victory you. over the Sabbat. Let's and sip, everyone. May all his progeny meet such fates. Mm. Any hunters that cross my path are dead. Same goes for the Sabbat. The Sabbat must be wiped out before dawn. Then, when you come back, we'll begin the hunt for the key. Okay. Hey, baby. You can always count on the Sabbat to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. They're reckless, but they don't normally try to attract this much attention. This carelessness warrants observation. I hope it doesn't become pandemic. The wrong, right, wrong thing for the right reasons, what does that mean? The Sabbat's goal is to stop Gehenna, which is very similar to my own, though they choose to do so through more violent, fanatic, and flamboyant methods. The Camarilla, on the other hand, suspends belief entirely. Or so goes the party line. You're not Camarilla? What I am is kindred. How others choose to categorize themselves concerns me only where local customs are concerned. Individualism is a path fraught with obstacles and sometimes angry mobs. But for all its hardships, it is the only one worth taking. I met with Dr. Johansson. What did Johansson have to say? He said it's the tomb of Meserak and Asrayan Key. A Syrian origin. Glad to see I'm not losing my touch. As for Meserak, I'll have to research that name, see what I can find. He said the key was to start with Scott. There is a key for the Scott, but isn't where it is. The lock and key. An invention as ancient as greed. I should have guessed. All we have to do is find a victor in this nonsense. They'll be the one with the key. He said the reliefs on the side were of the demoness named Lamastu. Lamastu? She was a Lilith figure. They represent empowered women and the threat of such women to male-dominated society. Yeah. Strange she would be engraved on a king's tomb. The only thing more threatening than that would be, like, putting a woman in a battlefield game with a prosthetic arm. Now, that would be scary. People would have to get triggered and freak out about that. Does any of that mean anything to you? It seems to corroborate my own evidence. I'm going to have to study it a little more. Maybe dig up some information on Meserach and the Lamas II myth. I'm certain the key will show up in time. Your information is appreciated. Hmm. Here, the vampire acrophoba may help. Excellent. Why would the attack Sabat attack so openly? It's simple. Someone's misled them into believing there's an antediluvian in this very room. They, and I suspect most kindred in this city, would love to sink their stakes or teeth into its imagined occupant. If indeed rocketing it to the moon was out of the question. Not supposed to wipe them out because of the attack. Well, perhaps for this pack, it's for the best. I have other questions for you. Excellent. Have you subscribed yet with Twitch Prime? No? Okay. Bye. Aww.
Aw, Chunk. Well, I don't see Chunk's body anywhere, so Chunk may be alive. Just gotta, you know, get some Windex on this stuff, and he should be back. Hopefully. Hopefully. No guarantees, though. No and Chunk, he's probably on lunch. He's probably getting a, a Baconator from Wendy's. And a large Frosty. And a large fry. And 20 nuggets with some honey mustard dipping sauce. And a Diet Coke. Because he's watching his figure. You know, you gotta watch your figure. You gotta get that Diet Coke. If you drink a Diet Coke with a meal, it cancels out all the calories. That's why they call it diet, right? Okay, I gotta run to the bathroom real fast, guys. You guys listen to the radio. Still awake? Something on your mind? Give me a call. 323-KL5-KTRK. Ask to speak to the cute one. Hey, all you night owls. Is the human race going crazy, or is it just me? Seems like all you hear is bad news lately. Anybody feel the same way? Feel like the world's cracking at the seams? Why don't we make that the topic for tonight? And if that doesn't work, you can all go back to calling in with the usual pervert stuff. Line five, you're on with the Deb of Night. So tell me, is society going to hell or not? I think so, Deb. And why is that? Well... For one, I lost my job a month ago, and our management gave themselves a bonus for it. I'm sorry to hear it. And just the other night, I happened to look out my window here in Santa Monica, which used to be a nice neighborhood. I saw the local diner where I've been eating my breakfast for years get shot to pieces. Can you believe that? Like, no one cares about anyone anymore. I hear it. And my neighbor's boy, sheesh, he's been using speed since he's in junior high. Steals from his parents. That's a shame. Yeah, yeah, you know, there was a time when this sort of thing just didn't happen. You know why? Why is that? Well, because a man could beat a woman and children when they got out of line. They didn't even have to be blood. You could just slap the little bastard. <laughs> ah, the good old days. Why don't you hit the activity room and reminisce some more, Grandpa? Anyone have any musings that don't end up in assault charges? Yeah, hi. Whoa, here's a rare event, a female perspective that isn't my own. Go ahead, sister. Um, I just wanted to say that I agree with you for the most part. Things have really started to suck in the last few years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like I can't see myself bringing a child into this world, you know? I hear you. Except if it was like Ash River's baby. Oh, he is so amazing, Deb. I would like populate a minivan for him. Oh, my God. Yeah, but what are the chances of that happening? I don't know, but I'm like at his club every night. <laughs> okay, but back to the topic. Oh, and, and this one time, I was working as a waitress at this award show, and I served him a drink, and he told me, thanks, beautiful. And there was like a moment, definitely something there, you know? Sure, girl, but tonight's topic isn't Ash Rivers. Yeah, well... Probably really good because all of you other females better stay the hell away from him. You know what I mean? I'm glad to provide a public forum for the whacked out of both sexes. Let's try to stay on topic, <laughs> shall we? Death of night. That's me. I recently found out I was a vampire. <laughs> oh, I was one of those ones, and then it was November 1st. That's not a joke. I'm really worried about this. Uh huh. This girl at the club took me to the bathroom and she did something to me. Back in my club days, we used to call that a favor. <laughs> oh, caller, could you hold on? I've got Frankenstein on the line. Frankenstein, something you want to add to this conversation? <laughs> I see. Your rebuttal, caller. I'm not lying. It happened to me. It could happen to anyone. Fire! Ah! Ooh, good point. You want some advice? Wash off the eyeliner, put on something that's not black, and go get a tan at the beach. 
Jeez. The Deb of Night <laughs> Show does not endorse the goth lifestyle and take it from Deb. Pretending you're a vampire only impresses people of similar physical achiness. <laughs> Next caller. Deb, I think the world's been messed up, is messed up, and will continue to be messed up. Oh, an optimist. Now, bear with me, but I know what the cause of all the world's problems uh, is. Nipples on TV? Exactly. <laughs> nudity? Not too much nudity. Well, head industries. Clothes make a person dishonest. They're hiding their true selves away under them. Clothes promote problems like class and sense of piety and concealed weapons. Why, how much Cheat codes. do you clothes as a people? Join the film, boss, but I think I really let myself go over the years. All right, this seems to be your bag, so here's the deal. You know the Terador and the Fusius Miss Velour? Back when she was breathing, it was more like Miss Anything for 300, and I got a poster. We'll trade for a revealing photo I saw of Haunted L.A. Ooh. Hold on. Uh, the White Bishop. The White Bishop Falls. Ooh. Your bloody Valentine. It felt so liberating to open up to you in that last email, so I dipped my pen in into my soul for you again to write another for you. Father, I never knew you, Mother. I ran away from you, Sire. You forgot me, but lover. You are forever in my heart. Think my looks will stop me from being taken seriously as a poet? Vivi. Aww. Let's grab that. We gotta grab the lewd photo and put it in our mailbox. Vivi's autograph photo. Got it. And let's store that. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get rid of the uh, naked photo. I know I'm a little crazy, but she's gonna, he's gonna, she's gonna trade me for another mag, another poster. All right, let's give the picture. When I go back in, it'll be should be there. Barely saw that photo. Uh, Detroit Become Human will be in about six and a half hours. We get through our exclusive USA launch before it launches. Let me double check the email what it said. Cheat codes. Uh, during the film, but I think I really let stuff go. So here's the deal. know that Terador in Vesuvius, Miss Valor. Back when she was breathing, it was more like Miss Anything 300. And I've got a poster. We'll trade for a revealing photo I saw on Haunted LA. Oh, Haunted LA. They want, uh, the other photo. The Nosferatu one. Boop. So I'll get a sexy photo of uh, her. Anything for $300. That sounds like... That's a good deal. Especially they'll do... Anything. Anything at all. Anything. <laughs> Let's 
Yeah, like we could cuddle and have intimate dialogue for 300. I know, I would love to go up to a to a woman and be like, she's like, hey baby, anything you want, 300 bucks. Um, then I put like, I put a sponge and a bucket in her hand, like, all right, go wash my car, and then you gotta go do my laundry, and the dog shit all over the, the bathroom floor again, you need to clean that up. Thank you. Want to learn. How you been, boss? Same drills before. Got a surveillance shot of a certain cage in. It would be degrading to Photoshop chop it into a tacky poster. That's what I did. Yours for a song, actually. Something Amaya did before I put the bite on her. I'd like to keep the kid in check. Last year's Lock Shot magazine swimsuit shoot. Too hard, too pointy reasons they pulled it off the retail shelves. I don't know what about that one. I don't know if I have that. Yeah, I don't think I have that magazine. I had a dream this afternoon. You were in it. You were stroking my hair, telling me you loved me. <laughs> and then in the next instant, you were gone, and I was alone, and I cried out for you, but you wouldn't answer. <sighs> You're here now. I have never felt more relieved. I would never leave you, dearest Heather. <sighs> You're so kind to me. Yes, and I could use some... Give it to me. Yeah. Every last drop. Ha 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 yeah. <laughs> yep, just put a straw in there and just sip, 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 sip. Is Dan Rage working yet? Am I an alpha male? Pretty much. Whenever you think of domin dominating masculinity, you think of Dan's gaming. For sure. Easily. No, we're in L.A., not Detroit. L.A. is a shithole, though. Mm -hmm. Where to? Just drive. Chinatown. She's in this place right here. Konbanwa, <laughs> demon. About the hangyoki. Dogoreska, where? I'm gonna meet him at the fish market. We can ambush him there. You want to kill hangyoki with me? Why? I don't trust him. My contacts seem too eager to set this meeting up. Wakarimashita. Fish market de ikemas. See you there, demon. Let's go. Where is the fish market, though? I 
I don't know where the fish market is. Um, I'll be back this way somewhere, I'd imagine. No, I need a map. I need a map. Chinatown map. Probably down this way. Oh, you're not sucky sucky anymore? <laughs> hey, baby, need some company? <laughs> hey, baby, only $20. <laughs> hey, baby, need a date? Only $20. $20? That is... That is a deal. Hey, can anyone chat? Give me 20 bucks. Just need 20 for uh, science reasons. Science. Oh, here's the fish market. Dozo. Yeah, I'll go first. Saving. <laughs> that stealth. God, my cape's all messed up again. <laughs> the hell are you doing here? Where is Zingena? You're both here, my hunter and my target. This is very convenient. <laughs> <laughs> convenient is the word I'd use. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Ogami Yuki e desu. What is that? <laughs> what is that supposed to be? <laughs> it's a shark. <laughs> it's so silly looking. It's a frickin' shark! Uh-oh, uh-oh. 